Hello everyone, I'm RecV5. And I am Sandman99. And welcome back to Fallout New Vegas with Joe Smurd. Yes. And, uh, since the last episode, we, uh, actually got into trying to persuade the con Great Cons to, if not be friends with us, at least not be friends with the Legion. Yep. And, uh, so, anyway, I've added a few new, uh, wardrobe mods. And I'm not too sure about this one. This one here has a lot of physics in the rear end, as you can see there, that looks really strange when you walk, at least. At least with the backpack. <laughs> yeah, with the backpack and all that kind of stuff. Like the, well, the, uh, yeah, I'm kind of on the fence about whether I like this outfit or not, just because of how bulky it is around the waist and yeah, you know, yeah. Like clips, the clips with the gun on the back and all that kind of stuff. So uh, we're going to go and have, since we're near Good Springs, we're going to go to the Good Springs Caves. Oh, okay. And we're going to have a look at another outfit, because I have installed a couple of new outfits. This one is called the Naked Fatigues, for uh, obvious reasons, I guess. Mm -hmm. Because uh, instead of a, a shirt, basically she's got straps. Yep. Although she got the full pants, uh, apparently you can make these this outfit in a whole bunch of different colors as well. Oh, okay. But you can't change it once it's made, and the ingredient for making it is combat armor. Ah. So basically, it has the same statistics as combat armor. All it is is it's basically a uh, a texture and mesh change. Yep. Right from the from the standard combat armor, but. In order, to, if I wanted a different color, like say if I wanted the pants to be green camo or something instead, well, then I'd have to have a whole new set of combat armor to turn into this outfit again. Yep. And combat armor is not that easy to uh, find, and it's also pretty expensive to buy. Like, I actually had to go to Gunrunners and buy a set of combat armor. Just so you could make this. Just so that I could make this so I could have a look. And of course, I didn't have any idea what any of the various types looked like. Yep. So I just made the first one on the list and ended up with these bright white pants. <laughs> so, uh... Your snow cow. Oh. For those New Vegas winters. Yeah. And, uh... So anyway, we're going to explore a cave. That, oh, we just stumbled right into it right here. Good Springs Cave. So we're going to go in and have a look in Good Springs Cave. Oh, I guess I have to press a button. I can't just walk in. Yep, it's like a door. It's like a door, yeah. Okay. Okay. And of course, this isn't the kind of place that you want to go to uh, at level one. Because this large group of coyotes that are in here would probably bury you in a hurry, right? I mean, it uh, seems like pretty easy pickings here right now. I mean, you might be able to get through here if you're cautious. Maybe. Well, you'd need a, you'd need a good weapon that does lots of damage like maybe the that caravan shotgun that you start with and you know like that kind of thing right because I can see this being pretty challenging for you know like a really low level caravan. but for you it's easy pickings There's, there's actually quite a lot of coyotes in here. Yo, well, I guess uh, if you could be very stealthy, that was something that would be helpful here, right? Yeah, probably. I mean, I'm not making much of an effort at stealth because I already know that I uh, overmatch these breed critters by quite a lot anyway, right? Well, and you're also not very stealthy. Yeah, I'm not very stealthy anyway, but yeah. 
Okay, well, he's got a little bit of stuff here. That laser pistol isn't worth much, so I'm not going to take that. And uh, not too much worth taking there either. <clears throat> but what we're really in here to look for... is in this box over here. The Technica armor case. Okay. And what this is, is it's the Technica armor set. Okay. And it looks like there's three uh, of each type. Yep. So it looks like there's a, uh, like, Cobalt, Cyberpunk, there's a hat, Iridium, and then there's a jacket and a long coat. Okay. So we can try some of these things on. Let's see what they look like. I think this is the base outfit. All right. Yep. And uh, I'm not sure what all it... Okay. Looks like I can still wear the gloves that I was wearing. But the outfit more or less looks like this. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, along with it, you get a hat. And I, I like the hat, actually. I think the hat's pretty cool. Ah, uh, you're a big fan of the top hat? I like the, I like the top hat, yeah. With the goggles on the front. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So... Anyway, and then there's different, like, this is a different version of the outfit. I guess it's just a different color or something. Yeah, a little bit duller color. Yeah. And, uh, then there's another different color again, right? And of course, the lighting in this cave is kind of messed up, right? Probably would be better if we had a look at this stuff from the outside. But, uh... You kind of get the idea a little bit. And then we have either a jacket or a long coat. So the jacket basically is just a uh, like a short jacket that's open on the front here. Like so. And then the long coat, of course. Is a long coat. Is a long coat. So, anyway, we'll uh, see if we can grab all of this stuff. No, we can't carry it all. But we can uh, swap, so we, we can get some of our helpers to carry some of it. Yeah, dump it off on Eddie, I guess. Well, we'll dump off as much as we can. Because these are actually pretty heavy outfits too, right? Like, they weigh like 20 weight units each. Yep. Okay, well, I'm to the point now where I can move again anyway. So maybe we'll go outside where it's a little bit better lighting so we can have a bit better look at how this stuff looks. Looks like the long, the coat there clips it a bit at the back with the hair, right? Yeah, a little bit. I don't know if the other coat did. Uh, we've got to find the way out here again now. You're lost. Lost in the coyote cave. Yeah, well... The uh, entrance is not really immediately obvious, right? Nope. Back and right. Yeah. No, not that way. That way. And then left. And then left. And then more left. Yeah. Okay, maybe not that far left. No. Uh, let's have a look at the map here. I'm lost in a thing that has yeah, see, one you're entrance. Right, right beside the entrance. Yeah, I gotta t turn and look to the right. It's not here. Oh, here it is. <laughs> it's camouflaged. Okay. So, anyway, it looks like the long coat has got some issues, maybe. At least with this hairstyle. Uh, where's... Let's see what the short coat looks like. Yeah, the short coat still has some... It's just the collar at the back, right? Yeah, basically. The, the collar at the back doesn't work well with the hairstyle. I guess you'd have to have, like, a shorter hairstyle or something. Yep. 
in order to make that really work. But anyway. That's your pink outfit. Yeah. And of course it really affects the uh the the you know it's it's physics enabled. It affects the body size. Yep. As well though, like this seems to be a bit thinner body than some of the other outfits that we've got. A little less clipping though on the bright side. Yeah. But anyway. But anyway, I guess we'll we'll put these things back on for now. But I still like the hat. Gonna keep the hat then, are ya? I think I just might keep the hat. Well, maybe not. Because we got... Uh, Our 10 gallon hat here too, right? Yeah. Well, I suppose you can always switch it up later down the road. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about both of these outfits now, really. Uh. Because they, uh, they didn't turn out as good as I had hoped. I see. Because I don't like clipping and that kind of thing. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess not Not all of them can be perfect. So we'll, we'll go back to the pickup truck here and we'll uh, grab our other stuff again because I had dropped it off just so that I could uh, have enough room to pick this other stuff up. Okay. And back to the Desert Fox gear. Yeah. Well, because it doesn't clip and it's, it's actually a better made outfit, right? So we'll throw this other stuff in here for now. You can always come back for later if you change your mind. Yeah, maybe. Especially the hat. You like the hat, at least. Yeah, where's the hat, anyway? There you go. Yeah, maybe, uh... Yeah. It's not heavy or anything, so I guess we can... Uh, Carry around a couple hats? Yeah, it's just that the nice thing about this hat is it gives you that barter and charisma effect. Yep, whereas guess, the other one is personality. Yeah, perception. Or but, yeah, I guess, perception but I guess yep. we, can, we can always change hats if we uh, want to do some bargaining and that kind of thing, though. I wonder how this hat looks with this outfit. <laughs> hey, that seems to work okay. No, it's a color match anyways. So, we'll go and see Eddie and we'll uh, grab that stuff that he was carrying for me now. Okay, there is one other thing that I can try with this outfit too just for the fun of it. And I stored a couple of items in here. I figured out how to make tanned gecko hides. Oh, okay. Yeah, because if you have a couple of tanned gecko hides, you can change the appearance of this uh, desert fox outfit.
I know we're doing some screwing around here at the beginning of this, but... Uh, well, we've shown something off. It's fine. <clears throat> but you notice, like, I, I, I like this outfit because it fits well. It, you know, you don't have a bunch of, uh, you know, strange-looking clipping and stuff like that. The yep. other outfit, if the hair didn't clip through the back of the coat... You'd be a big I, fan. I, I, would, I would say that... Uh, Knowing what I know now, I would have chosen a different hairstyle <laughs> because a shorter hairstyle would probably work okay with it, right? Anyway, um... Somewhere in here. Yeah. Okay. I wonder why I can't do that. I have all the... I have all of the... Uh... Hmm. Ingredients? I have all the ingredients. But for some reason it won't let me do it. See, these things here, you can make different colors of those those fatigues, right? But yep, you need yep. A, but you need a set of combat armor in order to do that. Yep. Okay, I'm not sure why I can't do that, because uh, according to this, I have all of the ingredients. Skill requirement thing, maybe, or something? Doesn't say that I, I have need no one. idea. Yeah, it doesn't say I need one. Hmm. I wonder if it has to be unequipped first or something. Oh, maybe, maybe. Wouldn't that be funny? Well, we could always pause and find out. Yeah, we'll pause and find out. And we're back. Yes, and we learned something, okay? Uh, apparently what that is, is it is a toggle between uh, something called reinforced box clothes or, or lighter. And we already have the lighter version on. Yeah. And all it does really is it just changes the appearance of it slightly. But, uh, not really a great deal. So, anyway, we learned something about that. Learn something new. Yes. So anyway, um, uh, I guess we'll just keep that, uh, other stuff in the back of our minds here a little bit. But personally, I just like this outfit better. No, there's nothing wrong with this outfit. Yeah. I like it better than uh, than the the two that we tried on today, mainly because of uh, the, like fit and clipping. Yep. And I mean, some of a lot of these outfits, um, you're, you know, it doesn't work like in Skyrim with where, you, where you've got CVBE or something like that, um, and you have to have outfits that match the body. In this game, for the most part, from what I've found is that uh, we'll put our two tanned gecko hides back. What I found is that the body tends to look the way that it would the that it was built with the uh, outfit that you equip, right? You know what I mean? Yep. And uh, to a certain extent Oblivion was like that too. Right. Yeah, well, they kind of had to do that because of the way that uh, outfits were put together, right? Yeah. Well, and they also hadn't really developed a, a CBBE yet and that kind of thing. So anyway, we'll continue on with the quest. And uh, right now we have to go... I'll have to zoom the map out. We way the fuck down there. Way down here to take the boat to Dry Wells, which will eventually end up at the fort again. Going back to home sweet home, are ya? <laughs> yeah, well. I'm sure you'll get a warm welcome. I don't know, is there anybody left? The last time I was there, there was nobody left alive. <laughs> well, I'm sure if there's anybody left alive, they will be very appreciative of being able to see you again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. We'll get all kinds of uh, greeting bullets and that kind of thing. But anyway, I guess what we got out of all this experimentation is we got a new hat, at least.
And now it's the quiet trek back until you uh, run into some legionnaires who are uh, trying to assassinate you again. Yeah. Well, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. I've got to say, uh, with my new graphics card, though, this game actually looks pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, I was able to set all the uh, game in-game uh, visual settings to max. Which means that I can see, uh, you know, objects really, really far away, like that oh. tower or whatever that is. You might have been able to do it before, I'm surprised. Yeah, I don't know, I just never tried it, but uh, once I got the new graphics card, I figured I would give that a try. And just see. Yeah, I bet you you could probably max out the settings on pretty much every game you play with uh, this card, and probably even on the old card too, before it failed, sadly. Yeah. Yeah, now you've got a uh, 7900 GRE for those who are watching. Yep. An AMD Radeon. Yep. I think it was a uh, a, a Sapphire branded one, because uh, I ended up putting it in the machine. Yeah. I don't know, it was pretty expensive anyway. It was pretty long too, holy shit man, like you've got like the big <laughs> CM Stormtrooper case for your fucking desktop here, and I could barely <laughs> fit this long ass card into your desktop. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know how heavy that thing is, too, right? Like, I even I have to grunt a little bit in order to pick that thing up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I used to have the precursor to that case, but uh, alas, the years took a toll on it. Yeah, well, it's like I know I was just talked about it halfway serious and half not with you before about just getting a half a sheet of plywood and hiltying it to the wall down <laughs> here and then just mounting all the components on that. Well, with because how long they're... graphics cards are getting, I, I'd be half tempted to just build myself a fucking case out of plywood anyways. Yeah. Then you could you could accommodate any graphics card of any size. Yeah, because it's getting to the point where if uh, they get any bigger, then they, even they won't fit in this case. Yep. There you go. You just got to go back and like grab like an old IBM machine in a hard card and take the length measurement off that and then build your plywood case so that it could take a hard card. For those of you who don't know, a hard card is a hard drive on a card. That was a thing back in, like, the old, old days. Yeah, well, that was back in the days when, uh, like, hard drives were 12-inch platters, too, right? Yep. I know. I've, I've seen those before. But yeah, it was like a it was like a graphics card, except it was like this big long thing with a PCB at the at the back of it and a, a hard drive sticking off the front of it. Yeah. And it went from back to front of those old IBM cases. And, uh, computers back then were very large. Well, I'm even just talking about, uh, 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 the old, uh, uh, IBM PCs there. But, uh, yeah, like, uh, just build, build, build your fucking plywood case so it could take a hard card or some other ridiculously long thing, or maybe double the length of this graphics card. <laughs> You'll never have trouble fitting a card in again. Well, see, I like the idea of just mounting everything to a sheet of plywood, though, because then you can have, uh, you know, like, uh... Trouble. Uh-oh. Oh, well, here comes some more of these guys now. Oh, you knew it wouldn't be long. Yep. That was a plasma grenade. Okay, that come guy's back weapon here, is broken. shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he broke his weapon. He's yeah. running off to go get another weapon. And who the hell knows where he's going to do it. Yeah, Veronica's like half dead. Yeah, well that's because uh, that guy is hitting her with that, that thingamajig, right? There you go. So we'll just finish him off. Looks like he was half trying to switch to a melee weapon, and then he just gave up on it. I keep running out of bullets here. Ah, oh, that's okay. Veronica got him. Oh, look, there's a feral ghoul, too, getting in on the act. Alright. Oh, there must be something else, too. On your left there? Behind you? Eddie's shooting at something. Is that that same guy that came back? 
Could have been another one. Maybe there were four. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, oh, well, there's still another one out there somewhere. Yeah, well, he went running off looking for another alternative weapon. Yeah, those his guys weapon are, broke. Those guys are a nuisance. I hate it when they run away. Okay, well, that guy had money. He had a plasma grenade and a plasma mine. Not sure what happened to his gun. He had some 12.7 millimeter ammunition on him. There, he had a thermic lance. Right. Oh, he's coming back now. Oh, well, he must have finally found a gun. Oh, now he's running away again. Okay, well. Oh, look, at least the ghoul had some drugs. Yeah. You've got a net gain out of this. Guess we'll just finish healing up here. Trouble. Yes, I know. He's coming back. Again. I can shoot him in the head from here with a pretty good chance to hit. Easy. And now he doesn't have a head. <clears throat> well, it's okay. He didn't need that anyway. Wow, he's got smoke trailing off of him. That's probably from Eddie's lasers. Yeah, maybe, hey. Get a marksman carbine. Okay, yeah. Wonder where he got that from. I don't know. He must have wandered off and picked it up from somewhere. Anyway, that takes care of that. Oh, and that reminds me. Oh. There, there was another mod that I installed. And what it does is it allows you to gain a special point every three levels. Oh, okay. Gain. And I did a little finger math. And actually, there was. Um, three different choices. You could gain one every two levels, every three levels, or every five levels. Yep. And I chose every three levels because according to my my uh, counting on the fingers anyway, um, you'd have to, in order to get, gain uh, 30 points, you'd have to get to like level 90. Yep. Right? So, anyway, I chose every three levels. And it doesn't apply it retroactively, but what you can do is you can go in here and of course we have to go into settings and controls and we have to turn our 360 controller off so that you can operate the keyboard and mouse yeah so we can operate keyboard and mouse temporarily and then we can go into the console and we can type in Player dot add uh, special points. Special points. And then a number. And since we're level 32, I'm going to make that number 10, which would mean that I would have gained a special point every three levels. Yep. Right. So now. I can uh, assign up to, uh, right? So we'll make that 10, and maybe we'll make that 10, and we'll make that 10. So we need another 4, 9, 13, uh, 18 points, right? Yep, you got one more. In order oh, do I have one more? Okay. Uh, I guess 17 points, right? Yeah, in order to actually fully max things out. In order to actually fully max things out, which means that, uh, you know, like, basically we'd have to probably go well beyond the, uh, um... You'd have to gain another 51 levels. Yeah, like we'd have to go well beyond the level cap, whatever it is, 
in order to uh, then we'll go back in here to settings again and re-enable your controller yeah and that's why I don't use a whole lot of console commands in this game just because it's kind of a nuisance right to oh. switch to switch it back and forth like this thankfully though at least uh, uh, this game doesn't have that many bugs in it for you to actually have to use console commands to bail yourself out of trouble true so anyway, we should gain another uh, special point at level 33, right? So the next time we do a level up, we'll gain a special point. And I kind of was looking for ways to try and beef my character up a little bit. Just because I got annihilated by Mr. House's robots almost instantly, right? <laughs> it was like one of those instant death kind of situ situations where I didn't really even have a chance to do anything before I was dead. So I figured that maybe I need to be a little more robust in order to be able to survive that. And it's not really too much of a cheat because, uh, um, you know, like I'm not really terribly familiar with this game, but, but one of our viewers actually commented a while back that it is in fact possible to eventually get to 10 in every uh, ability you know like through various in-game exploits and that kind of thing yeah well that's a lot more knowledge about that's than uh, about this game than i have that's for sure well you know the, the, these this is someone obviously who uh plays the game quite a lot Yeah, it would be their oblivion, right? Yeah. Yeah, that well, he's got quite the quite the variety of uh stuff and things here. We're starting to collect an awful lot of stuff too. I mean, you always have a lot of stuff. Yeah. You're always worried about how much stuff you're carrying around, too. Yeah, well, my problem, like I said before, is that I'm a walking armory, right? Like, I like to carry way too many weapons. Yeah, I carry, like, two, man. Maybe yeah. three. Yeah, but it's a compulsion with me. I need to make sure that I've always got enough ammunition, and also I tend to use weapons in certain specialty situations, right? Like, I really like this gun because it's accurate at longer ranges and it hits hard. But uh, because of the way I built this character, shotguns are more effective at short range, right? Yep. Hey. hey. Yeah, actually, you had a pretty good success all throughout this game with shotguns, really. Yeah. Oh, the scorpions have respawned. Yeah. And of course, I went back to a lever action shotgun as well that I'm carrying around with me. Because I do get the damage buff for use, because it's technically a lever gun, I guess. And uh, it's also a shotgun, so I benefit from those, those buffs as well, right? Yep. What? What? It says, talk to Jackal Lang. G gang leader. I've got you now. Uh. Oh, okay. oh, I guess he was invisible. I guess he was invisible and just following us around. Apparently. <laughs> How weird. Okay. Well, it's a Bethesda game. It just works. Yeah, it does. There aren't very many bugs in these games, but I guess there are still some.
There's always a welcoming committee in this area, too. Wait, be here. Uh, oh. We'll get this figured out eventually. You gotta find the right gun, damn it. You gotta find the right gun. Where is it? There it is. Diagonal is hard. You know, diagonal controls. Oh, that's why I was pretty particular when back when uh, days when I played fighting games, I was pretty particular of the kinds of controllers and things that I used. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Uh, okay. Now you know it's not safe I guess to stand it's behind not a, those. It's not a good idea to take cover behind a car. Yeah. All right. At least not until you shoot them first. Well. Oh, okay. These guys are not very tough. No, basically the big danger here was the car. Yeah. Which, uh, luckily didn't really hurt very much. Well, let's see here. He had some scrap type stuff on him. That's just about the most of these guys that I've ever seen. Um, in this spot. Okay, well. I guess we'll continue on. So, yeah, I think the game does look a bit, uh, quite a bit better, actually. Maybe it's just subjective because it's like that new car feel, you know? Yeah, the new car feel, the new car, uh, the new card feel, there you yeah, go. Yeah, the new card feel, but it just seems to me like, uh, you know, everything is a little bit better defined and a little clearer and, and it draws, it draws items further away than it did, did before and that kind of thing, right? Well, maybe. I mean, I don't even know uh, uh, what we did with the settings to install this game, or if we ever tinkered with that, or if we just forgot. I think it was just at the default, actually, because what I did was I turned most of the game settings up to the max, because I figured that this new card would have the ability to handle that. Well, the thing is, too, is when you uh, uh, installed the new card, then when you ran this game, it actually had to auto-detect your card again, and it reset all the settings to default, so we don't really know what our settings were at before. Yeah. Well, definitely, uh, you know, like, once we tinkered with the settings again and set them all back to max, I mean, before, what I was getting is, like, say this roadway surface would look a little blurry. Yep. And the lines on the road weren't, like, Narrow, defined. narrow and well defined like this. They were kind of like a yellow blur, blurred stripe kind of. Yep. So uh, much, you know, sharper or more uh, detail now. And that's where I notice it particularly is on the road, right? Yo, the game was also running in like 1168 by some 624 or some weird optimized resolution like that. Yeah. And uh, yes. we, just, we just put it back to where it should be because you, you noticed that uh, it kept moving all your windows that were behind the game window over to your other monitor. I'm like, oh, that's because the game's changing the resolution of the screen. They don't fit. Yeah. And that, that's how we found out that changing graphics cards reset your game settings. Which is kind of weird, but okay. It just works. The New California Republic. Oh yeah, I remember. This is that place where we found all the ghoulified soldiers, right? Yeah, I think so. Because <clears throat> bad things happened here. Is 
But that's okay. We'll keep going this way. There's something over there. See the little blue or the little clear triangle on the on the compass there. Yep. There's a few, uh, I guess, special sites or encounter areas or something down in this this area. You could probably explore almost forever in this place anyways and still find new places. Yeah, there's a lot of locations we haven't probably visited at all, right? Well, also we've been sort of just kind of following along with quests. Yeah, with various quest lines. And not really spending a lot of time, like, free form exploring. Boy, is it ever, like, hazy and green looking down here. Yep. There, now it's starting to look a little more normal again. I, Yo, guess I, th that, I, I guess that was a highly radioactive area that we just passed through, right? That's right, yep. Yeah. Reminds me of this uh, one thing I saw. There was this story about this guy who uh, had a particle accelerator beam go through his hand. Oh, what happened to him? Uh, I think he lost his hand. Really? But it took days before he realized that something was even wrong with him. Wow. Anders? This guy's got a name. Please, help me. Legion caught me. Said this was the penalty for drug runners. Please, let me down. Okay. This guy is a great con, right? Looks like from the emblem on his jacket. Okay, plop. Thanks for getting me down from that cross. I owe you one. Yeah, okay. A Legion patrol caught me trying to cross the river. <laughs> I found the um, package I was carrying. They strung me up there. Uh. Mm. Well. Not exactly. More like trying to expand our markets. I heard there was a lot of untapped territory down south. But the Legion caught me. Okay. So long. Yeah, he's all fucked up now. It's going to be walking funny for the rest of the day. Yeah. Well, that will probably tend to do that to a person being tied up on a cross, right? Well, better walking funny than dead, I guess. Okay, well, anyway. Doesn't look like we really got any kind of rewarding type thing out of that, but we did it because it was the right thing to do. Just like it was the right thing to nuke the Legion. Yeah, <laughs> well, it was probably a better thing than nuking the NCR was. True. See, I still don't think there's anybody left alive over here because I pretty yeah, much... Yeah, there's still lots of dead I people much, laying around. I pretty much massacred everybody in this location a while back, right? Did we actually go inside that building at some point? This build, I think we went inside all the buildings. Oh, okay. Yeah. We have to go down here and catch the barge now. Oh, okay. We just discovered the boat to dry wells again. I wonder if we actually managed to get through these to these docks without actually discovering that location or something. I don't know how, because we went on this thing before, right? Like, we've been on this before. Yep. Maybe it uh, reset when we uh, started this quest, right? Oh, oh, look, you've got some friends. Yeah. There's like a whole whack of them here. I like this gun. I can shoot with bats a lot, right? Well, that guy's pretty tough. Yeah, it took quite a few shots to kill him. I guess they vary in strength some.
Well, let's see here. Oh, that's good. Okay, that doesn't do anything for me. That's what we got here. Well, they at least had some uh, more guards here anyway. Okay, where are we going? We're going... I got two quest markers again. Damn, that's confusing. Yeah, it's because one is to go back to... Uh... Yeah, one is to go back to... Uh... Okay, well... Yeah, and there's also that uh, one guy that you gotta talk to... Or no, you gotta kill him. You have to assassinate that guy. You still haven't done that. Hey there. Howdy again. Okay. What do you got have for sale? I like how you can walk in here, blow the legionnaires away, and then do business with this guy. Yeah, well, he's not really a legion guy, though, right? He's not affiliated with them, I suppose, you could say. Looks like he doesn't have much air anyway. Yeah, I can sell some stuff to him though. Can you sell him your denariuses that you have picked up? Or denariuses or whatever? Yeah, probably. Um Might be down at L. Okay. All right. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Okay. You see you. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be visiting him on your way out too. Probably. It looks like they're still carrying the big heavy stones on their backs. Yep. Packs or whatever they are, yeah. I thought we'd put an end to this already. The Legion, like a Hydra, right? Yeah. Well. Well, this place is definitely repopulated again. It would appear that way. At least partially. Okay, she got him. Okay, well, he had that. Maybe I should switch to that for a bit. Yeah, you're finding a lot of them on these Legion guys now. Yeah, now all I need to do is uh, figure out which one it is. It's that one. Okay, there we go. Yeah, because I've got quite a lot of ammunition for this thing. And it's fully repaired. Yeah. Okay. I guess we'll continue on. Do we have to go back into the tent here again? Probably, right? Whoops, this isn't the tent. No, you gotta go around this area. Hey. Well, that guy is still dead. Yep, back into the tent. Back into the tent again. Okay. That's it.
Oh, you leveled up. I uh, just leveled up. Okay, what are we working on here? Uh, I think you were working on your science. Yeah. And what else? Uh, okay. Maybe we'll get our speech up to the max. Two. Okay, we're looking good with that and that. More science. More science. And we get a point. Yep, because this would be a third level, right? That's right. 33 divided by 3. So we'll uh, give it to Charisma there. Okay, we're looking for evidence of some sort. Where are we going to find that evidence? Legion Slave Ledger. Note added. Complete. Find Regis evidence that Sea Legion will annihilate. Okay. Oh, well, I guess that was the thing we were looking for. Let's see what it says in the note. An extensive record of the Legion's prior dealings with tribal societies it has encountered in its expansion of particular interest is the fate of the Twisted Hair Tribe in Arizona, who formed an alliance with Caesar to serve as his army's scouts during the conquest of that region. Once the Arizona wastes were pacified, the Legion turned on its erstwhile allies, stripped them of their tribal identity, and forced them into slavery. Those who resisted were crucified along the remains of Interstate 40. There, see? So we just have to go back and tell Papa that the Legion's a bunch of dicks and here's the proof? Yep. And then we're... Oh no, you gotta kill that guy too. What guy? The uh, uh, Legion guy who's trying to advise him. Oh, yeah. Remember, you gotta assassinate that guy. Optional. Find a way to uh, disgrace Carl in front of... So we don't necessarily have to kill him. We just have to disgrace him. This ought to be something that will disgrace him, right? You could just kill him. Maybe, but I think I've got to show Pop of the book first before I kill anybody. Because uh, otherwise that just might make things go badly. Hey, it'll only make things go badly if someone notices you. Yeah. What is this thing? It's a, it's a, uh, it's a grinding wheel yeah, it's a, on, it's a, a grinding on, wheel. An, on an electric motor. Okay. Hmm. There you go. Old things made new again. Yeah. Not sure where the power for the electric motor is coming from, but... Maybe it's nuclear powered. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. You still have to have some sort of evidence of power being connected to it, regardless of what kind it is. Okay, so our 12.7 millimeter submachine gun is still in good shape. It's got one of those uh, scam uh, nuclear diamond batteries. Oh. I don't know if you heard of those. No, never it's heard like of It's like a scam. It. They generate, I can't remember what it was. It was like. 0 0.25 watts of power or something like that. Oh. Okay, uh... Looks like none of our weapons really need repairing. But I did pick up that other thermic lance, so we should talk to Veronica. You're making See how the hers is doing? Step, aren't you? She's been using that thing for a long time. Oh, well, she's carrying a 12.7 submachine gun for me, too. Hers is in pretty good shape, though. Yeah, it is. So I'm just going to have her carry this extra one. And we'll check in on that later. Now we need to find the way back down the hill here. Because now we have to make our way all the way back. To... Hey. Oh, those are kids. Yep, and the kids won't try to kill you, yet. Yeah, but it looks like somebody's going to try to kill me when I try to leave. Ah, probably more recruits. There <sighs> seem to be a dime a dozen of them out here. Yep.
Get out of the way, Veronica. What are you doing? Being Veronica? You just gotta spray and pray, man. What do you mean? I was aiming. You just gotta be more assertive in your gun firing. If Veronica gets in the way, that's her problem. Well, we should be able to see that merchant guy here. Yeah, you've got enough denariuses to sell them again. Yep. Well, we might be able to put together... Uh, where is it now? Uh, yeah, we can put together a couple of these, too. Make a little bit better one. Okay, where'd that guy go? Did he disappear? No, I think he's still around. Uh, no, maybe he did disappear. No, oh, no, there he is. There he is. <clears throat> he's stuck. It just works, okay? Yeah. Oh, whoa, oh. hey, hey there, buddy. Yeah. Get a little close. Howdy again. Yeah, let's see Have what you got for sale. Maybe what it is is when the gunfire starts, they run, right? Yeah. Well, you know, that would make kind of sense, right? Okay, well, Veronica's already carrying one of these, so I don't need to carry this one around, too, I don't think. Okay. I don't really need that right now, either. don't really need that right now. Or that. There, made some good money there. Okay, not under miscellaneous, just under items. That's why I... Like, the Legion Denariuses don't appear under anything except general items. That's what I learned. Yeah, that's why they're so hard to find. Yeah, which is why I couldn't sell them before, right? Thanks. Be seeing you around. Okay. Not oh, a gate. Where's the gate? It's over to your right. And then follow this road. Oh, okay. Past the dead legion guys. Yep, past the dead legion guys. You can grab lunch on your on your way out. See, I'm carrying lots of uh, lots of blood packs, so I'm not taking blood off of every one of these guys now. Yeah, here we go. The gate. Yeah, and Eddie's got quite a lot of them too. Yeah, he's carrying quite a few for me. So, although I'm not going to count on those ones because if I go into another one of those DLC type situations. I'm liable to have to leave him behind again anyway, because that appears to be the way these things are designed. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what do you think? Freeing that guy from his cross might help our case, too, if he goes back and tells the great con leadership that I rescued him? Maybe, assuming he makes it back before you do. Yeah. Well, he had a little bit of a head start. Oh, what's this? You've got something else hostile to you over there now. Yeah, but Eddie hasn't triggered on it, so... 
I guess it's obviously, so far off. It's obviously, not relevant. it's pretty far away. Yeah. things here don't get any of that weird um artifacting on further away things that we used to get either did we used to get artifacting on further away things uh, a little bit it was like a weird i don't know how to describe it but uh especially on things like uh -oh. um oh oh he dodged They all, they all seem to want to go after Veronica. It might just be that the uh, uh, memory speed or the clock speed of the GPU is faster and able to take care of those things before you ever notice that kind of thing. Hey, he had a bobby pin. Yeah. Oh, and we did end up turning off V-Sync because apparently V-Sync was on for this. So maybe a limited frame rate caused things to render yeah. slower? I like, don't know. Like, for instance, on the uh, supports for that water tower, you'd see weird-looking uh, moving lines going up and down them and stuff like that. Ah. Uh. And along things like rail the railroad tracks, especially in the distance a little bit. You know what? You notice these things a lot more than I do. Oh, you would have noticed it if you did. I, I never notice these things. I build the big fancy gaming computers and I crank the settings up to max, but I don't notice what the settings do. Huh. <laughs> It's kind of lost on me, even though I pay for it, and even though I build it. Well, it looks like there's some, uh... More ends. Hang on there, Traveler. You'll want to steer clear of this place. <laughs> Old town's radiated to high hell. Kind of late, man. Okay. I was stationed at Camp Searchlight before the incident. I've since taken it upon myself to keep travelers away from the area. Okay. What happened? Some legionaries snuck into the camp and set off some kind of radiation bomb. I don't know where they got it, but it was damn effective. Killed almost everyone and turned the rest into ghouls. How did you survive? I was out on patrol at the time, so I wasn't in the camp when it happened. There were a few others with me after it happened, including some of my superiors. Between radiation poisoning and attacks by the legion, they all died out. Okay. Well, you know what? I think we've been here before. Stay safe. Yep, a couple of times now. And it looks like you've still got some buddies. But, uh, yeah, speaking of the graphics card here, it actually says on the back of the box that it's compatible with Linux. Supported operating systems include Linux. Yes. So, there you go. That, if In case you guys are wondering why uh, uh, anything I build, at least, goes for AMD cards, it's because AMD has a very mature support uh, stream for Linux and Linux graphics cards. So if we ever decide to convert this machine to a Linux machine someday, we won't have to worry about hardware compatibility. It will happen someday. At the point where I actually am going to be forced to either change the machine to a Linux machine or go to Windows 11, then this will become a Linux machine. Yeah, because you're not a big fan of what Microsoft's been doing as of late. Well, I uh, was, like I said before in other, other recordings, I was perfectly happy with the way Windows 7 worked. Yep. It there was, was no reason I to was, update or change the UI. Yeah, or... I was used to it. I knew how to find everything that I needed to find and that kind of thing. Things work well. I didn't really think that any changes were necessary, and then they decided that... Uh, changes were necessary. When I had to... What the hell's going on with uh, that bighorn? Oh, that's, it's Bethesda. <laughs> yeah, right? well, it looks it like was, they were stuck was, inside yeah, each it was other. Clipping, one was clipping into the other, basically. But anyway, but, uh, yeah. like, like I said, um, the thing that annoyed me particularly in the change from Windows 7 to Windows 10 was that I basically had to go through a big learning curve again in order to figure out, because I'm not really a computer whiz type of guy, right? Yeah. And uh, 
I had to go through a big learning curve again to figure out how just to operate my damn computer, right? Yep. And I don't know whether Windows 10 is better or worse or, or the same as Windows 7 was, but it is different, right? Like, the, the interface is different. Well, internally, from a programmer standpoint, there's only a couple of extra features in terms of uh, uh, the actual kernel API. So the kernel itself is not that different. I guess the, the graphics APIs are somewhat newer with DirectX 12 support and things like that. I don't know if you can get DirectX 12 support on Windows 7. Maybe you could. You need you need a, a DirectX 12 compatible graphics card for that. But yeah, I'm kind of getting like blah, blah technical stuff now. So yeah. Yeah blah 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 technical stuff but but yeah, anyway from I wasn't, a kernel standpoint it's the same system i wasn't a big fan of the change just because at least for someone like me it wasn't necessary and i don't think i really benefited from it yeah <laughs> well and that's just the thing with the same thing was with except, windows 8 except except that i was forced to buy another copy of windows yeah because the reason that we had to change from Windows 7 to Windows 10 is because my motherboard died. Yep. And no new motherboards would have Windows 7 support anymore. Yeah, and then you had another motherboard die and you had to buy Windows 10 again. Yes, because uh, changing out the motherboard apparently... Invalidated your Windows 10 copy. Yeah, because they considered it to be another install on a different computer or something. Yep. Stupid. And stupid like that. So you know what? Linux doesn't have that problem. I so, can switch my motherboard and my graphics card out as much as I want. Yeah, I know I've used the expression before, but I'll use it again. Uh, it is a, in my in my opinion, a predatory business model. Yeah. Okay. Once you've paid for something once, you should just have it, especially since you you don't even have like a an OEM copy. Like you actually have like the physical consumer home edition uh, USB. Or Windows 10 that you buy. You have two of them. Yeah. They're not OEM copies. They're actual proper, like, home edition copies. Yeah. And, you know, like, that's, to me, is that's a, that's a predatory business model. And you should not... Instead of forcing people to upgrade when things like that happen, what they should be doing is trying to make meaningful changes that actually benefit the user and encouraging them to upgrade by providing them with a better service. Well, and the thing is, too, is <laughs> technically speaking, if you were to decide to make uh, this computer into, uh, or log into this computer using a Microsoft account instead of a uh, offline account, you might have been able to migrate your license over, but it shouldn't be that complicated anyways, and you shouldn't have your local computer account tied to the internet anyways. It's just way too much complexity for such a simple thing as logging into the computer. Yeah. Well, anyway, they pissed me off, and uh, I'm not going to buy any more of their stuff. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Especially because Linux is free, too, right? That it is. You know, like... Uh, I've been running Linux on my machines for like 12 years now. So, I've got lots of experience to help you out there. Yep. And, and games like this run perfectly fine. And actually, I've got some of the uh, Linux... Uh, I believe they're Linux-based um, business software knockoffs. Yep. Like LibreOffice or something. Yeah, like open source software stuff, right? Yeah. But although LibreOffice is developed, I think, primarily on Linux, it works on Windows too. Yeah, but you know what? I There are some very small differences, but as far as I can tell, those programs work almost exactly the same as the Microsoft yeah, and you don't you don't have to pay a yearly subscription for it either. Yeah, because the Microsoft moved their shit from a yearly subscription thing. Yeah, well, I still have my copy of Office ninety seven as a result, but uh, yeah, I use the LibreOffice now too. In fact, uh, uh, back when I was going through my university courses a long time ago, I was using LibreOffice for that. And uh, that was in the bad old days when things weren't quite as uh, advanced as they were, are now and as far along as they are now. And it was still passably good enough to get me through university. So nowadays, it's basically, you know, completely compatible. You yeah. won't run into weird problems anymore. But anyway, I'm not going to consider myself to be or, or claim to be 
any kind of an expert or anything in this field, but all I know is that as a, you know, Joe Schmo customer, uh, some of the things that they've done recently have annoyed me. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then the constant pushing of updates too, right? Like, yeah. that's also really annoying, especially when it breaks things. Yeah. Well, I personally think that... Uh, you uh, should have control over when you install in, updates in, and maybe yeah. even what in, updates it, you install. It should be against the law to force updates on people that they don't ask for. Yeah, especially because this is mostly an offline gaming machine anyways. Yeah, you only that, really connect to the, to the internet to watch YouTube on it and stuff, yeah. right? Doing things like that should be a criminal offense. Because all that does is it breaks things... And, uh, you know, if, if I don't have a specific reason for wanting to do an update, like if I were running a business and doing, you know, running accounting software or some sort of uh, running a software development company or something and I needed those updates. Or then, there was then, some kind of security thing related, then it would then be relevant but to you. That's fine. But just as a, as a home consumer, I don't need those things. Yeah, you just need it to be plug and play and run and work. Yeah. And I think that's what a lot of people forget about technology, right? They think shiny and new without thinking about how it's going to be used. And well, the like... thing is that any of those um, uh, write-ups that I've seen on the on any updates for software, even relatively simple ones, compar comparatively speaking, uh, are a massive wall of text, too, right? Like yep. you. You, you, your eyes start to glaze by the time you've gone through a few paragraphs of them explaining what this update is and what it does. Yeah, and, and it's a lot of blah blah technical stuff that you probably yeah. don't know, well, know and, anyways. And legal disclaimers and that kind of thing too, right? And uh, so, you know, like really, if you can't explain to me in a few brief sentences what you're trying to accomplish, I'm just not interested. <laughs> yeah. All I'm going to say is, you know what? You could write a Word document in Office 97 just fine. You don't need Office 365 for that. Anyway, there. We uh, we found another issue to... Bitch about. Yeah. There's a shortcut across here. We need to take a shortcut across here. Right? Oh, you finally going to stop following the road? Well, no, I was going in this gen general direction because up until now it was more or less compatible with where I was trying to go, right? Now we'll uh, take a shortcut across here, try and get there a little bit more directly. <laughs> How long have we been at this anyway? I don't even know. Oh, we're only 13 minutes past the hour. Okay. Well, we'll go and try and finish up this con loop thing, and then I guess we'll figure out something fresh to do in the next episode. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess in terms of computers, especially for single... If your primary thing is single-player gaming like it is for you and me, you just want something that you can install and forget about. Yeah. Trouble. Well, and I want it to be able to uh, do a nice job of running my games, too. Like That's right, yep. Yeah. Fiends. Okay. Get some more of them now. Yeah. Oh, they're always hanging around out here. There's another cowboy repeater. Twenty gauge hulls. Yep. And some big ants. Some very dead ants. Yeah. Ant mound. Oh. You could actually enter oh, the I ant mound. Oh, I could actually enter the ant mound. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe we'll keep this in mind for another day. Because we're already uh, busy doing something right now. All right. But we'll come back here at some point. Yeah, a little exploring at the ant mound. Well, it's marked on the map now, so we'll know where it is and we can go back to it. But yeah, we'll just go around the northern outskirts of town here because it's sort of uh, goes more or less directly to where we're trying to get to.
Yeah, well, now you're heading you're heading all the way back to the Great Cons now, if I recall. Yeah, well, yeah, we have to go back and present this, you know, Papa guy with the evidence, right? Wow, there's all sorts of stuff going on here. This looks like some sort of industrial site. Ooh. Okay, I'm not going to get distracted. But you want to poke your head inside. See, down, like with before, if you look down the railings of the tracks, you'd see a little bit of flickering and, uh, and, uh, you know, that sort of thing, particularly on the track rails. Uh huh. Yeah, I, n I never noticed. Yeah, but you don't see that anymore. See, you notice all the little details, and I notice none of them. Well, you know what? I'm very uh, visually critical of more modern games, and I have to say that uh, you know, like up until uh, just today, really. I had always thought that this game looked visually a little bit rough, but uh, maybe not so. But not so. Yeah, I think maybe maybe I was uh, imagining it. Well, no, it was just one of those. Uh, I got the wrong damn gun again, and I can't figure out where everything is. There, that's what I'm looking for. Time for the headshots. It's a huge difference, right? Like, I basically get 95% chance to hit with this gun, and with anything else that I have, it's like 50, right? Driver Neffy? Okay, that guy had a name. Oh, yeah, sir. shoot at that guy. Oh, Eddie got that one. Okay. There's still one left, though. Well, we'll grab this guy's armor, too, just in case we need to... Uh, repair? Repair some of our stuff. There's still somebody over there. Two. Yeah. He's coming at you with his knife. Yeah, he's bringing, bringing a knife it. to a gunfight. <laughs> Oh, well, that's okay. I'll shoot him in the face a couple times, and then that'll be it for him. Okay, where's the last one? Oh, oh there's, there's two, two more, more now. Hey, this, well, this one guy over here had a name, though, right? If we can find him. Yeah, Driver Neffy. Yeah. Driver Neffy's head. Okay, well, sure. We've been collecting... Uh, People's heads. Neffy's golf driver? Yep. Okay, that looks like a unique weapon of some sort, right? Looks to be so, yep. Okay, well, we'll add it to the collection, I guess. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anybody else nearby. I guess we'll call it good for now. Gonna reload that gun? Um, just going to have a look here at... Okay, it's just about... Uh, you gonna eat someone before you go? Yeah, it's time for lunch. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we gotta go this way now. Right through the radioactive barrels and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I really like this gun. It's all American. It's like super accurate, right? It doesn't do the hugest amount of damage, but if you want to shoot something that's far away, this is really a good gun to use. <coughs> okay, looks like we could use a little bit of uh, repair work on our armor. Just so happens we picked up that. I'll fix that right up. Oh, 
I'll just watch. I'm not going to be able to find my way back into that canyon again, and I'm going to go wandering around all over the place trying to find the entrance. Well, just remember, it was like at the tail end of this little tiny road, right? Okay. This road here. Yeah, wasn't it something like that if you look at your map? Yeah, it was like at the little tail end of this little tiny road. You got to go all the way around because there's a little mountain range that you got to go around. And that's where this road leads. Yeah. You follow it and t take your next right. Okay. We'll do that. We're still vilified by these guys. I wonder how things are going to go, though. They didn't really try to shoot me on sight or anything. Yeah, well, I guess they're not as psychotic as uh, Caesar's Legion. Yeah. Maybe you'll go to just being disliked. Maybe. This right. Oh, that's just uh, evil big horns or something over there. See, Eddie is your alignment detector now. <laughs> Yeah, I have to say, this game looks much better than I thought it did. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I mean, I, I just don't <clears throat> notice these things. Yeah. Well, I mean, like you say, it could have just been a settings thing, because I'd never really played around with the settings much. Yep. But, uh... Yeah, even the detail of the rocks and everything else is it's pretty good. Well, I don't know. May maybe the card does make a difference. I have no idea. I thought we had everything maxed out before, but maybe I was wrong. Okay, we just have to remember which way to go now. Here? Yeah, I think it's up here. Okay, well, maybe not exactly up here. Turn right. No, right. Oh, there's no path. You're not right path here. up to the right. We have to we have to go a little bit further here, yeah. Uh maybe. And then turn right. Yeah. Yeah, it's up here, like to the right. Somewhere. Right here. I think there's a path. Yeah, up here and turn right. And then we'll probably have to wait until morning, like remember that guy he didn't cut You don't give up, do you? Oh, another one of these guys? <laughs> Not really, no, let's do this. Fuck. Oh, wow, there's, like, guys all over the place here. They haven't even noticed you yet. Yeah. They're so far away, you can barely hit them with that gun. Yeah. Okay, well. Problem solved, buddy. Oh, here comes the other ones now. Kind of tough. Yeah. I guess you had to work your way through his armor. Yeah, he's got like a Kevlar hood on or something. Yeah. Here. Okay, well, I'm obviously on the right track since people are trying to kill me, right? I must be uh, going the right way. Well, there's a whole bunch of. Uh, oh, he's sitting at the. He's he actually still the... awake. Yeah. More of my advisors are starting to talk openly of breaking our alliance. I wonder where that idea is coming from. This is a ledger from Caesar's camp showing what Carl was really planning for the Great What's Cons. This? Ah, yes, I've heard that the Legion has sometimes had to quell tribes that did not share its vision. The Cons, though, were protected by Caesar's emissary. 
I have Carl's word we will remain our own tribe as long as we remain loyal to Caesar. Yeah. Take your slander elsewhere. Okay, that didn't quite work out the way I had thought. No, I think you just need to Farewell. blow blow Carl's head off. Think when so? he goes to sleep, yeah. I don't know, I mean, I've got all sorts of other things going yeah, on. Yeah, you've got a couple of other quest markers now. Uh, let's you've got see two in this building. Here. In the local map. Yeah, if you just go to the local map, I think you have two quest markers just in this building. Oh, I have to go to Regis first. Okay, that was just dumb. Your friend's cute. Is she single? Regis. Yeah, where is he? I don't remember. I think he's the guy sitting to his left. No, that that guy on the left. Yeah. If you're smart, you'll find somewhere else to be. Uh, have a look at this book. Let me see. My God, <laughs> this is even worse than I thought. Okay, you have my support. I'll tell Papa the Alliance is a bad idea. Okay. What do you want to know? Nothing, never Suit mind. Yourself. Okay, bye. Until next time. Huh? And you got another quest marker, uh... What now? Check your local map. Talk to Papa Khan about breaking the Alliance. Carl's been in a shitty mood. Yeah, talk talk to the person on the right there, maybe. That's Carl? Yeah, that's Carl. I understand you've been invited to meet with Caesar. <laughs> but he still thinks that uh Yeah, I, I things haven't been updated here. Join? Oh no, I, I simply couldn't. That is, I'm not worthy of such an honor. Oh yeah. Early okay. It's equal to any of tribes' finest. That is to say, Caesar has many fine warriors, and I wouldn't wish to compare them to the great Khans. Uh, 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 uh. Enough! <coughs> How dare you compare Caesar's finest to this tribe of savages? The mightiest oh. great Khan uh. scarcely a match for a legion recruit. The burned man would leave their mightiest shitting themselves in terror. I would. That is. Interesting opinion. You motherless bastard. You'll pay for this. Okay, well, it looks like that kind of It looks like they got... took care of it. Yeah. All right, now maybe we can talk to this guy. All four of my most trusted advisors have told me we should break our alliance. Maybe I should hear you out after all. Yeah, you should. Hmm. I've heard some things from my most trusted cons. It makes me wonder whether this alliance is a good idea after all. But I want to leave a legacy of greatness when I die. My tribe deserves better than this, cowering in a canyon and living on scraps. Tell me then, if I don't join with Caesar's Legion, where will I find my tribe's lost glory? Uh... Well, let's see. What great legacy to great... Um, idea where I might find such inspiration. Oh, you're not going to use a speech option? Well, I don't know. I mean, like I said, choices matter in this game, right? And if I give him that, he might give me another job. <laughs> oh, my God. Right? I don't know. Okay, well, I know I can do the speech thing here. And you'll get experience for the speech thing. I will. Well spoken, traveler. Well spoken indeed. Perhaps it's time to find our own destiny, unburdened by the past. We'll begin readying the camp to move. As soon as Caesar makes his move, we'll depart. We will make ourselves strong again, and we shall conquer. <laughs> That's actually not what you want to... Uh... As long as you aren't fighting for Caesar. Oh yeah, well, I guess that is what you want, you want to say. I think we owe you a debt. Despite your reputation as a thug, you are known occasionally to show a charitable there side. There you go, your reputation is improved. I am, I improved my reputation with the great cons. God. Hey, maybe I can I've get a job for him patience now. for you. Consider your words carefully. You don't want me as an enemy. Okay, I guess that's... Farewell, sister. Well, that's a more positive uh, response than what I got before. 
So did Carl have anything worth taking? No. No, just a machete. He just did. Okay, well, you know what? That's it for that. Yeah, you actually managed to rehabilitate your reputation. Yep, I rehabilitated my reputation. So, uh, what do you think we should do next time around? There's all sorts of things that we could do. Uh, this one, I think, if we followed this up... Yeah, that's uh, where Cass is... Uh, very likely, is. We'd, we'd have to give Veronica the boot. Yep. Because I don't think we can uh, have two human companions. Um... That's still that Brotherhood of Steel thing. Well, you were thinking about, too, about uh, having... Uh, we could we could follow that up, maybe. I don't know. Could. Could also, because uh, I know you, I know that you were thinking about uh, uh, doing some of these DLC quests, too. I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out. All right. Well, you know what? We've got uh, basically one, two, three, four, five choices. So one of them is the Mojave Drive-In. One of them is the Happy Trails Caravan Master. One of them is the Sierra Madre Grand Opening. Then we got Heartache by the Number and Still in the Dark. So I guess we'll uh, figure that out next time. Alrighty. Till then. I'm Rec B5. And I am Sandman99. Have a good one.